Hello everybody, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to episode 6 of Minecraft Waterworld Survival. And in today's episode, we're going to carry back all of the loot that we currently got from this blacksmith chest right here, back into our base. Now, I remember saying that I might build my cobblestone, I mean, I might build my um, mob grinder off camera, however, I have thought it through, and I'll probably um, just make this episode by... Uh, what I'll do in this episode is I'll just carry back all this stuff back to my base, and then only later after that I'm going to be making our uh, mob grinder. So let's see. Let me just. Uh, I'm thinking. What should I throw out? The reason is because I don't have enough space for all of this stuff. Now the obvious things to throw out is probably obviously the ink sack. I don't need the ink sack. I don't need rotten flesh. Uh, I have a bunch of that, and I'm going to have a bunch of that in the future, too. Oh, we just take the apple here. Iron sword, we could put the saplings right here. Uh, and I could just equip the iron leggings right now, just so that um, it saves inventory space. And let's see, actually, we do still need more inventory space. And the reason for that is because we need... Um, let me just break that chest right here, take that chest. We might need it someday. Now, I'm trying as hard as I can not to anger the Enderman. Now, if I did want to go to the end, I would most likely fight him, but I have too many important resources with me right now. Uh, so, let's see. I should probably craft a boat right now. Actually, no, I'm not going to craft a boat. I'm just going to go up here. Now, let's see. Is this a library? I'm pretty sure this this might be a library. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that does look like a library. But let's hope that uh, there's, like, no creepers that come out of here. So, let's see. Oh, there's a villager in there, so let's see. Let's hope that there's no mobs in here. Oh, thank God. I was really worried that there would be some mobs in there. Like the time that a creeper exploded us just by being in here. I wish more uh, torches spawned inside here because it feels like I'm the one who has to light all of this stuff up. So I'll just gather all of these bookcases just so that we wouldn't have to go back and forth. Now, unfortunately, we won't be able to craft... Um, a bucket right here just because we have another iron ingot back at our base so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to go back to my base and combine this these two iron ingots with uh, my additional iron ingots so that I have three and then I'm just going to craft a bucket from that now let's see I probably why do I have this run random piece of cobblestone laying around what I'm going to do I'm probably just going to craft a boat and throw this piece of cobblestone out I don't need this just one piece of cobblestone let's just take the boat and place it right here oh now finally it looks like much more lit up so let's just place our boat somewhere on the side right over here there we go nice let's just make it breathable oh wow it looks like it's raining or it's oh actually it's not raining it's just the particles from the boat coming off uh, there we go so let's just wait until we get all the way to the top making sure that we don't go off the edge so that it, it doesn't like uh, go go uh, crashing down so now let's see which way should we go back uh, to our base I think that we have to search where the other village is oh the other village is there oh yeah so th that way we're just gonna go uh, right here in that direction boats are very nice because they can help me transport by going I can also go down with boats just by going down these uh, air blocks uh, kind of like air canopies I might call them boats are also very useful because they can help me go upwards if I make a boat underwater I can place the boat and then I can somehow swim up also there we go oh, yeah there's another boat right there but we won't need that uh, it's, it's okay so let's see let's just I, I think I won't break it maybe someday when I go back to this village if I ever do I might pick this boat up if I ever need it so I think that our base is quite close from here. This is just only one village away. So I think we should see our village, uh, I mean our uh, base coming up on the horizon somewhere where those stars are out there. Now let's see, is it midnight or is it, oh, it's almost daytime. So wait, where do we just, oh, yeah, we, we just went a bit off course, which is not good. Let's just pop out our F3 menu to make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, so let's see, we're changing our Z, but not our X. Yep, there we go. I think our base is something about a 912 X or somewhere around that. And somewhere around negative 1,200 something 15 or something like that. Oh, I forgot to mention, our base is at something negative 12 X. There we go, because if it was at um, 912 X, we'd have to go much farther than 
we sh we are currently going right now. So let's see, we should see our uh, our base popping up any minute now. So let's see, let's just keep on track, staying on X912. Uh, let's see, now we're getting closer to Z negative 1200. I think we only need to go a few hundred blocks more. 100 blocks seems like a lot, but since we're swimming in a boat, since we're, uh, I mean, sailing in a boat, it's much faster than it usually would be if, say, we we're running, for example. Like I said before many, many times, it's a great perk of playing in this water world is that we're able to transport from village to village much more efficiently. But another downside of of uh, playing in a water world is it's going to be much harder to get villagers. And I've been thinking about it. How can we... Oh, there we go. Is that our base over there? No. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's the village. Our base is over here, yeah. So, let's see. I think we went a bit off course. So, um, this is the base... I mean, this is the village right there, right there that does not have a blacksmith. I wasn't there many times, so our spawn point's somewhere right there. There's another village right there, and our base should be coming up uh, quite soon over there. So like I was saying, it's a bit difficult to acquire villagers in this water world. And the reason for that is because obviously all of the villagers are at uh, 90 blocks underneath the water. And that's not exactly something that's very easy to... Uh, it's a bit hard to get the villagers out from place to place. Now let's see. I'm a bit uh, worried because I can't see my base anywhere so like I said uh, it's a bit difficult to get the villagers out because uh, they're 90 blocks underneath the water and to get them to the surface we'll have to tran construct some kind of transport system or something like that um, yeah I don't I don't really know what's um, what's going on here I really should have remembered my base coordinates better and this is why you always should remember your base coordinates. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to... Um, let's see. Is there any loot down there? Have we been in this village? I don't think we have ever been in this village before. So let me see. Yeah, looks like we have never been in this village before. So we should go to X1000... Uh, Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut filming now, and I'm going to look at uh, my previous episodes to see what coordinates my base is, just because I can't see, I can't, I can't, I'm not able to find it, so I'll uh, just uh, see you in a bit. So I looked back at the footage from the previous episode, and I finally was able to get the coordinates of our base, so I looked back at the previous episode and when I had my F3 menu when I was right next to the mob grinder I saw the coordinates X negative 695 Z negative 1273 so apparently we're a bit off course by the X so let's just apparently both of these villages we have never explored before I'm not going to explore them right now hopefully I might be able to get back to them later and uh, if I do have to get back to these villages I'll most likely probably uh, record the coordinates of this area right here right now on my screen as we are filming this so let's see X is supposed to be 695 so we're just a bit off course uh, Z is supposed to be negative 123 so let's see I think this even might be the oh this might be the village that uh, our base is right next to so let's see uh, X negative 695 oh yeah there we go Oh, I didn't know. There's a village right there that we did not explore. Oh, we could just explore that a bit later. Yeah, I'll make sure to explore this area a bit later. There's a bunch of villages here. But right now, as of currently now, I'm going to be more focused on building up our base, including our mob grinder, and just building up our um, infrastructure and our different automatic farms that we have just because I finally have access to a bucket, which means I can transport water, lava, and... Uh, milk and of course we won't ever have milk in this let's play obviously because there's no grass for cows to spawn or anything like that but if we did have grass then we could have probably had uh, some we could probably make a large green island just for for animals to spawn on but that's not going to happen because there's obviously no grass in this let's play so in the, in this world I mean so there we go I have finally arrived back to my base so let's see so I'm going to 
put down gold horse armor. Wow, oh my god. 11 obsidian. Isn't that a beauty? And we're even going to have a diamond pickaxe soon. That's amazing. Wow, I never thought that our loot chest would be so large. I'm even thinking about expanding it right here. So I might, or I might just add another like chest right here for metals or, or precious stuff. Like, like R for, yeah, I, I might add another chest just for armor or something like that. Or it might even have to be a double chest because we're going to get uh, quite a bit of armor from our mob grinder. Hopefully, if it's going to be efficient, then we're going to get a lot of the armor from... Um, Zombies and skeletons spawning with enchanted armor. We might get some of that as well. So let's see. Okay, now we have finally. Th oh my god, this is so amazing. Three iron, three diamond, three gold. That is just really something, guys. That is just really something. Let's put these apples down. I'm so surprised they're so useless. Why would I even want them in a blacksmith chest? Uh, so let's see. So, oh yeah, there we go. Let's just put some books down right here. Uh, let's put this. Uh, Oakwood stairs up here, the fence right over here. Also, we got a door from the library when the creeper blew it up, when we picked that up. So let's just organize all of our stuff. Let's see, let's put our iron sword back right here. Uh, we could just put our oak saplings right here. We already found more oak saplings, but uh, we don't need any more considering we already have enough. Uh, let's see. We have uh, 64 dirt. We could just organize that all later, but let's see. Um, the most exciting part is to finally craft a bucket. This is what I have been waiting for so long. Oh my god. Oh my god. We finally have a bucket. That is amazing. Yeah, we can finally pick up water. Let's see. That's so amazing. This is really, really something, guys. This is really something. Wow. Isn't that something? so much water and yet I am the only one here with a bucket and all this water can't be picked up or transported so um, what I think I'm gonna do now in the remaining part of this episode is I might possibly make a time-lapse of me building a mob grinder I think I might make a time-lapse possibly I might possibly not make a time-lapse actually now that I think about it Making a time lapse for building the mob grinder would be a wonderful idea. Now that I have a ton of wood, I probably might make a three or a four story mob grinder so that it would be super, super efficient considering that I have so much cobblestone. Um, I think this much cobblestone should be enough for about a two or a three story um, mob grinder. So, uh, because for just a standard mob grinder, like I built those in Skyblock, uh, the one that I have a tutorial on, it's called Minecraft Skyblock Mob Grinder Tutorial or something like that for 1.8 and 1.9. Uh, that's how the video is called. It's actually, in fact, it's one of my most viewed Minecraft videos ever. But aside from that, uh, to create such a standard mob grinder requires about this much cobblestone, so a whole row of cobblestone. Uh, and I think I still have some left over, and considering that I have almost uh, more than a row and a half, I should be able to build. Uh, the least one that I should be able to build is a three-story grinder, or a two-story grinder. I think I might build a three-story grinder. As you know, to build a three-story grinder, I also need a lot of wood, and the reason for that is because, uh, let's just put all of that down here, just for the while. I need a lot of wood, considering that, because I need trapdoors to trick all of the mobs into thinking that they're solid floor, so that they would walk off the surface of the uh, spawning platforms, and then they would be uh, transported to the same water stream that pushes them into the one central drop chamber in which I'll get all the mobs uh, spawning and dropping there. So hopefully we're gonna get all of that in motion. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna make a time lapse right now. So yeah, see you guys in a bit.